All right. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me on this great episode of your favorite political talk show, The Truth with Ben Jokes. Now, as opposed to what the government and security forces want Nigerians to believe, insecurity has continued to worsen in this country in the last 12 months. During the marking of Tinubu's one year in office, the DSS released a statement saying that security had greatly improved in the FCT since Tinubu took over. And the next day, kidnappers went into an estate in the heart of the FCT and they kidnapped nine people in the FCT. So what are we talking about? And that explains why the Northwest has become a commercial hub for terrorism. Bandits operate for hours without interference from security forces. But the one that saddens me the most is the present situation of the Southwest. Because the Southeast and the Southwest are two regions in Nigeria that value development and, you know, good quality of life so much. They both don't deserve the kind of terrorism that is coming upon them. That is why I always scream about what has started happening in the Southeast. But in the case of the Southwest, the Fulani headsmen are already giant threats in that region. Last night, a very sad video of a farmer began making the rounds on the internet. This farmer, a young graduate, jobless, decided to go into farming to augment his little earnings from his hustle. And as his farm products began to receive life, Fulani headsmen visited him with disaster. Before I show you that video, and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you this video. In this video, Tinubu was publicly telling APC Edo chapter that he was going to rig the gubernatorial elections for them, that he was going to give the election to them as the president of Nigeria. See the video. You know me well. I'm still going to fight for that. Don't worry, we are with you. You will not walk alone. <laughs> One thing I can show you is this. Do you want to go back? Yeah. I am the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I will give the go back to you. And then we turn the beautiful, if not be more beautiful than Lagos, will be equal to Lagos. Be assured of that. You heard that. This is state capture, nothing else. An election is coming up, a gubernatorial election is coming up, and someone says he alone, not the people of the state is going to determine the winner single-handedly. He said they know him. This is what I do. We have never had it this bad as a nation. But he is not going to come down to Edo State to rig that election. He is going to pay Nigerians to do it. Even many people from Edo State are going to be involved with police to carry out this plan that he's talking about. That is where I still say the people cannot completely exonerate themselves when we are talking about the tragedy that has befallen our nation. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. And this tweet here by Mr. Steven Osemwegie says, As an Edo son, I am very sure that Tinubu will not succeed in Edo State. Then he brought up this sticker, Edo Nobi Lagos. Mm. And this tweet by Jeff George says, under Nigeria's constitution, what section empowers the president of Nigeria to give a state to any political party? None. This man will rig Edo State for APC. And Ak Biodun Fad said he will try it with every means within his power. It is the people of Edo who should be prepared to meet craze with craze and stand their ground. Otherwise, you don't go. But if they tackle the APC people and meet them from any angle they may want to come from, even the president will surrender. Mm. And Onile Gogoro says, Edo will equal to Lagos means Edo state will become another captured state 
just like Lagos that has been fully captured by Tinubu and his family. Mm. A little kindness says, this is very shameful. And this tweet here says, this is a message to Edo people. If they lose God, Nadem Sabi, Abia State should be a lesson to them. They should not allow their states to be captured because he is already telling them that it is going to be like Lagos. And Alu John John Ki John here says, know him well as what? A ruler with the worst criminal records to occupy the seat or what? Shameless. It is indeed shameless. Now, let's watch the video of that Southwest farmer that went viral. Good morning, Nigerians all over the world. This is a farmland somewhere around Ijebode in southwestern part of Nigeria. As you can see from this video, this is a maize farmland. We planted maize on this particular farmland last month. That is about one month ago now that we planted maize on this farmland and it has germinated. As at yesterday evening, I was still on this farmland, you know, weeding because it took some period for us to experience the rainfall here and eventually when it rained we were happy that oh thank god we are going to let weed so we are going to have a bumper harvest on getting to this farmland this morning to resume work i realized that there had been an invasion of a cattle by some fulani headers they brought in their cattle as you can see this are their footprints and this is cow dunk as you can see they came in overnight. These are some of the scarce crow that we put on the farm to, you know, to prevent an attack of birds. They pull it down, you can see. So they ransacked the entire farmland and destroyed it. So you can see. These are their footprints and these are cow dogs everywhere. Look at it. Look at it. Because of the current situation we are experiencing in Nigeria, that we are experiencing serious hardship and hunger. Some of us deem it fit to make use of all the available lands in our neighborhood, you know, for crop farming, so as to ease our long suffering. But here is what we are getting a return. Some few years back, a particular government tagged Nigerian youth as lazy. They said we are lazy. Majority of us are university graduates, some of us from other higher institutions of learning. We are not lazy in Nigeria. Nigerian youth are not lazy for crying out loud. It's just that we suffer all forms of oppression, intimidation from people in authorities and people like this. These are the kind of oppression that we get. Look at the entire farmland that has been brought down. Look at it. Fulani. Wow. So sad. Now, this guy did not use a tractor to do that farm work. He's obviously not doing well financially. So he used his hand to till that soil. Do you know how hard it is to cultivate that whole area mechanically with hoe and cutlass? Now, where is the peace accord they signed with Fulani headsmen? Where is the peace accord? And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet here by Breakfast says, I thought the Yoruba people signed agreement with Fulani people. How is the friendship going? Well, sometimes we agree to disagree in relationship. This guy is obviously mocking them. Idaosa here says, I thought the Mumu signed peace with terrorist Moradas Fulanese. And Slim Daddy said, he don't aspire. But Omo Dudua here replied, he said something. He said, no, that peace act we saw was another fraudulent act by the Fulani government and Yoruba politicians. The real farmers came out to debunk that peace act the second day it was signed. Oh, and Chris here says, if this is not a GMO agenda, then what do we call it? Come to think of it, I thought the government in the West signed a peace accord with Mieti Allah and Heathers this year. It is not possible. You cannot have peace with them. And Oluwole Yoruba here was mocking them too. He said, this is fake news. We the Yorubas have signed pacts with the good, innocent Fulani Heathers. They are welcome to Yoruba land and must not be disturbed. Ireo, Ireo means he's being sarcastic. Continue enjoying whatever you get. That is the meaning of the Ireo. Because when we say the truth, they come out and give it all forms of colorations. Now look at what is happening. A graduate went into the bush to till the soil. Yet, he cannot get any benefit out of it because of Fulani Headsman. 
this is the situation that we have found ourselves under the apc and the worst thing is they are even angry that we are reporting all these things they are angry that the media is reporting these things listen to what nuri badu the nsa said nigeria media should be mobilizing support for tinubu's government national security the national security advisor nuri badu has urged the nigerian media to mobilize support for tinubu's government and bolster the administration's fight against terrorists he cautioned media managers against promoting terrorist propaganda and ideologies through security issue reportage. The media is also expected to mobilize support to government and national security efforts and strongly help to dissipate ignorance that makes some persons vulnerable to terrorist appeals, said Mr. Ribadu at a two-day training on effective reporting towards strengthening alternatives to terrorist ideology on Tuesday in Abuja. What are you saying? Are you saying people should stop talking? The media is supposed to just say the truth objectively. That is all. How can you come out and say you want to teach them how to report? They should mobilize support for the government. Are they politicians? Are they part of the government? And look at how Nigerians reacted. The taciturn here says that's not their job. Their job is to report the truth, even if it makes the government un uncomfortable. It's as simple as that. And Dede here says, what support do these people really need to do the job? Their job? Propaganda, slogans by their media or presidential media will not do the job. That is it. Every time they talk about support, 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 I don't know the kind of support they are looking for. And Chike here says, the worst NSA in history of Nigeria. This man is indeed the worst. And Jerry here says, shouldn't the media be independent of the government for checks and balances? Is this anarchy with a twist? It has to be. That is what they are calling for. But I don't expect anything less. This is the APC and this is what they stand for. They have come to kill, to steal and to destroy. And Nigerians must be able to put their foot down and say enough is enough. This cannot continue to happen in our dear country. And when we do so, we will be able to take our country back. But until then... Make I still enter town. <laughs> Make I go get some Ubonga political news. We will not go like. Why? Because that because of now. Now I day here. So don't go away. Don't go away.